Well, hello! <laughs> right, okay. So, tonight I thought I'd show you some bunting. Um, I made some bunting for my friend and I loved it and I keep meaning to do a video on it. So then I thought, actually, let's do it on a live. So let me just get my comments up before we start. Oh, hang on, let me just... It's notifying me that I've gone live. <laughs> okay, right. Let's have a look. Hi, Cindy. Okay, so what I've done is I've done some cutting out beforehand because you don't want to watch me cutting out for three hours no not really <laughs> i've just cut out a few bits i've then gone through all of my stash and found out um oh that's good cindy i'm glad to have you here <laughs> um hi mom um so i've gone through and i've pulled out of my stash things when i do cutting out i cut extra pieces so I've just pulled them all out and then we're going to have a little play and create some nice bunting to hang up. I'm just going to shut my door. Because I can hear my children who are supposed to be sleeping are still chatting. <laughs> okay, let me just move them out of the way. So, um, hello. Hi, Mindy. Okay, so let's have a look. So what I'm going to do is we'll start, I'm going to create on these first because last time I forgot to blend them. So we're going to do a little bit of blending and things as well. So we'll start with that one. And we'll just pull it in here. And I like, um, like, a pretty much like Ruth. I love vintage stuff and um scrappy cards and things like that so i'm just gonna go with the flow of these i have no plan <laughs> i'm just gonna go with it so let me just grab my little tubs of bits and pieces i have some scrap paper as well just in case i need it but i have lots of flowers and bits of ribbon and little cutouts and things so first thing i'm going to do is just blend around the edges now I did have little labels on all the handles, like this one, because I had these before Stampin' Up! did them. Now, I know that one is pink because the, the label stayed on, but for some reason, none of the other ones did. Now, that one's coming out as, as gorgeous grape. I'm just going to have pretty circles all over my scrap paper. Oh, that one's blue. That one's bright pink. Oh my goodness, have we even got a yellow one? Hurrah! Okay, let's just get rid of those out of the way. Actually, I might keep the pink one out because we have got some pinky papers. So I'm going to grab my pumpkin pie, I think, and just give it a bit of a rusty around the edges. Oh, I need to clean that stamp, that ink pad. So just going around the edges, giving it a bit of a soften really, so it's not a harsh edge. I like it to look a little bit softer. Hi Janice! Hi Louise! Hi Ruth! Hi Rosie! Rosie, Rosie, sorry. So just going to go around. and blend the edges okay this paper is is from the new catalog obviously i've cut it upside down but it doesn't matter <laughs> um it's the pansy papers and they are lovely and i've used loads of it already so that launches on tuesday so um, you can order online or give me a contact me and I can sort you out. Okay, so for this one, I'm thinking maybe we'll put a bit of vellum. Let's have a look what we've got in here. 
we do have some butterflies that I coloured on a video yesterday. No, I don't like that one. It's too dark. Too dark. Although this one's dark, but it's got a bit of a bit of yellow on it. Um, and I'll show you what I do with the edges because I don't like it when they're really stark edges. And then I've cut out of lots of different paper some meadow dies, which are also in the new catalogue, which will be coming out shortly. Tuesday. Did I say it was Tuesday? <laughs> okay, so I wasn't necessarily going to use the whole stems, but I may do on a couple, maybe. I don't know. Let's just go with it. Okay. Looking for these. And I also, with these, like to layer them. So put them sort of slightly off. Slightly off. And then it sort of gives it a... Well, actually, I might put that behind. I really like this one. <laughs> okay. Could do it like that, maybe. Like that as a flower head. So I need some flowers. Flowers, flowers, where are you? There's a leaf. And a flower and I've cut these out of the middles of the pansies so it's got the print on it and that's also retiring the small flower punch which is this one so be speedy if you'd like that okay so I haven't got any big flowers it's okay. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. So I've got a few little flowers like these. And then maybe put that one with that one. Nope, that's the same as that paper. So do that. So it looks. And then I just fold it up a little bit to make it more 3D. So that can go there. Right, let's stick me vellum down then. We're on a mish. <laughs> okay, so I'll stick these two together in a second as well. Less is more with vellum. As you can see, I've blobbed loads. Hi, Joe. Long time no speak, lovely. How are you doing? Oh, I haven't seen you for ages. Seems like forever. Okay, right, so we're going to glue that there. But not all the way around to the very edge so that it can fold up a bit if it, if it wants to. Then I'm going to stick these two together. Slightly off so they look a bit more layered. And I'm going to stick that there, like so. Let me just find me, um, uh, oh, <laughs> hi dad. <laughs> I'm going to put some ribbons and things in it as well. And I've got some pieces of twine that I've trimmed for something and then not used it. So we'll grab some of that. Where's my... Uh, there it is. Can't do anything without a bit, and I've nearly run out of this. The for it's the Forever Fern Suite, which is retiring, um, just the what's retiring the papers and the what do you call this thread? <laughs> I can't even remember what it's called. Oh my goodness! Need to go to bed. Right, so I'm just going to take a piece of this, and I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers to create a little loop like so although i'm gonna have a giggle in a minute because i'm gonna try and glue this down without my glue dots because i've run out don't even ask me how i've done that because i could have noticed but i didn't <laughs> so we're gonna go with that i think it'll work if i stick a flower on top of it i'm sure it'll be fine so just put that there and take a flower, put that on top. Okay, so we're going to put another one there. So 
See, I always get glue on my fingers and then everything sticks to me. Like so. Then we'll take some of these. This is a sprig punch. Oh, there's already glue on that one. So a bit of glue on the back. Pop it under there. Then I love these. <laughs> not quite sure where I'm going to stick it yet. Maybe not like that. <laughs> okay, so we need another. I've also cut some out of the sea and sand papers because the papers go very well with the pansy colours. Like so. Nope. What else have we got? We've got lots of bits and pieces in here. And a bit of lace maybe. Or not, because it's white and everything seems to be not that colour. <laughs> what else have we got? Let's have more. Oh, there's a dragonfly in there. Could use that somewhere. I do have lots of tiny weeny flowers as well, which we will use because I've been cutting out them. Cutting them out for a while. And then some random... Oh, I've even got a pansy there. No, it needs to be at the top if he's going to be on a card because, I mean, the pansies are just gorgeous. So, I think I'll just brush a little bit on here. And then maybe just because I can and I want to, I'm going to put a bit of pink on it. <laughs> so that can go, trim that off. Put a glue on there. Yes, a spot, not a lot, because you don't need much with stamping up glue. And I'll, I've I've managed to stick one of the gold new trinket bees onto my drawer with a tiny bit of Tombow glue, and it hasn't fallen off, and it's not budging. I think that's awesome. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so Tombow glue really is good glue. What else we got? I need something nice to put on there. That's just not going to go. Okay, some little tiny weenie flowers now. And I know I've cut out some all in the same, similar colours. Got some leaves. Might have to shade them because I didn't put the centers in. Got some of those. Some of those. Some of those. Oh, I've got more in here than I thought I did. Yoo okay. Does anyone else have just boxes of random bits everywhere? I do. But I love it because then I, I know I've got plenty. <laughs> There we go, balances a bit more now. Okay. Right, have I got a green blend? Or even a blue will be sufficient. I'm going to grab Misty Moon Nights. Yes, Joe, I will message you and we shall arrange that for sure. Please forgive me, Leaf. <laughs> right, I'm going to put that up there. Just 
sticking out of there and then I'm going to put this one next to it just to balance it out like so oh I love that it's like patchwork I need a little butterfly or would the dragonfly look nice put Mr Dragonfly on there or maybe even just there so we're going to go with that And then, um, oh, sticky fingers again, as usual. I have a couple of little tiny foil flowers, which I'm just going to dot randomly. So that the rest of it doesn't look a bit lost okay so in this I want something for the centers of these so let me see if I've got any of the, of the little flowers might look quite good let's have a look oh that's cute <laughs> all about the cute and this one's a very yellowy one so that would look nice in that one. What's that one? That's a bit boring. Let's get some more. And this is the um, confetti stamp. Um, this one. And that's retiring as well. I absolutely adore it. I think it's fab. Nope, that's not contrast enough. <sighs> keep digging, keep digging. What else we got? Oh, what about that one? That one's quite dark. There we go. Right, so I'll glue these on and then we can go on to the next one. And then, what I, um, oh, actually, I'm going to put my gems on first and then we don't have to keep coming back to this one. Here we go. I'm just going to put this ink pad away before I stick my fingers in it. So I've got three words. So two of them won't have words on, but the other three will. Um, because I want to hang this in my house. <laughs> I should have shaped them a bit better. Just fold them up a little bit. There we go. There's one. Right, so next, next patient. <laughs> Now then, do we go with that side or that side? Let me just see what I did. Because there was a method in my madness. So it was that one. Nope, it's definitely floral side. So this will be the words one. So in here, ignore the houses. I put some houses aside for mum. And then I couldn't find anywhere to put them. So let's have a look. Right, these are the, hang on a second, these are the Playful Alphabet dies, and these are staying, I believe, which I'm very excited about because I really like them. So this one is going to be, if I can find all the letters, now I know I did it right, for sure. Because it took me a little while to. There we go. And I like it because I literally did three words and I only had to do one extra go through the die the die cutter to do an because I needed three E's and they only do two in the pack. But um I cut all the others in one go which is really good because they give you a couple of vowels and popular letters. So if we're going to put that on there like that. So I'm going to glue it on as straight as I can. Oh, thank you, Cindy. So I'm going to put the love up the L up there. It will stick. 
<laughs> and then I'm going to pop that. Put the O. I think it goes that way actually. Stay down now. See, I don't put enough glue sometimes. Put it in the middle. Probably not. Right, that's it. If I put that there, I can see roughly where the middle is. <gasps> Genius. Right, so pop this one on. L O V. Hold of it. There we go. Pop that one on. Like I say, sticky fingers, and it's just sticking to me instead of the paper. Too much glue again as well. <gasps> Goodness me! Don't do what I do. Right. So then, I quite like just have a little, just a little gathering. <laughs> at the side and I think more oh, should we put nope can't see it that might be a bit big so we'll go with the smaller one I like to be a bit mishmashy so that the, you've got lots of different textures and patterns and Move that out of the way a second. Does that look better? Hmm. Maybe have a blue flower. Bear with me, guys. <laughs> oh, I should have got the alcohol in the tub for my fingers, shouldn't I? Okay, so I've got another leaf. And then down the bottom here. I'm just going to have one leaf. Maybe a bit of gold with a little baby flower in the middle. Stop it, glue. Um, and then have I got something? I just need some other little spriggy thing. Like that, does it? Mm. There we go. I think that's too much. So I think we'll stick with one of them. One of them. Because we don't need this one to be fussy because I've got the words on this one. So we've got some little contrasting flower for the middle. And I probably will put gems on these. Love that with... No, that's too big. Where are you? Small ones. Oh, I have got one of them. No, nope, that's too big. Maybe a little butterfly. And then maybe a couple of little flowers beside. Oh, I'm mixing up the colours today. That can go in there.
Right, let's glue these down. Right. Do we have anything else to spruce anything else up? <laughs> what have we got there? We've got a plain white dragonfly. You know what this plain white dragonfly needs, don't you? Wink of Stella. <laughs> I think actually we'll put that. Put that one like it's going to that flower there. Right, quickly glue these down. Sorry, guys, it's taken me ages. Go. Put that one on there. No, it did not come out. Like so. And I don't think that one needs a centre because it's got its own pretty. I aim. I cut it out of a pansy, so it's kind of got the middle bit of a pansy on it. So, Winkostella, and I mean it just transforms the dragonfly. <laughs> oh, nearly lost some letters then. Okay, so down here, let's move them out of the way. Let's glue this down. And this one. Kind of changing the way I'm sticking these already. Go. And we need a centre. Sorry, I keep going off camera because I can't see. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of glue, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll just um, stick some other flowers down with some of the glue I just managed to get. Um, what's that one? Oh, it's a nice rose gold one. And then the pink one for the centre. Okay, so that's that one. It needs more. It needs more. Maybe if we just do that. Don't even want it that big. Just so we've got a little bit more. Stick that in there. Like so. And what else have we got in here? Uh, 
think that will do for that one. Maybe we need a, a little rose gold up here just to even out our gold. Right, so then when you stick it onto here, if I just show you, um, I'm just going to glue the back. Hi Margaret, welcome. Right, so I'm going to glue that onto there, and I do have a little hole punch, and I'll just, I did mark the holes on this one, but um, I will re-punch the holes so that my string can go through. Now I could actually just glue my string to the back, but I will use the holes. Let's just spread that out a bit. There we go. So that's that one. Oh, laptop shouting at me now. Plug me in. Plug me in. I'm dying. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. <sighs> right. So that's that one. Right, next one. Let's get me blending brush back in. What colour's on this one? That one's the orangey one. And that's a blue. So maybe use the orangey one. So I've got pumpkin pie again. Let's move that out of the way for a second. I'm just going to go around the edge. clean my pad while I'm at it. Just soften the edges. And a bit up here. And there we go. Right. So I wanted something a bit more dramatic, but I don't know if this is just going to be too big. Although it doesn't matter if it hangs off a bit. Now this is going to be no... Although if I strategically trim it... <laughs> so actually what I'm going to do is... I'm going to trim it off, but I'm going to trim it in a certain certain spot. cut that bit off I can use that bit for another another job and then I'm going to go down this way as well didn't really mean to trim that one off did I no I didn't never mind it's okay okay and trim that there. Where else is there to trim? Just there, is it? Yo! Do you know that looks like a butterfly now, doesn't it? If I had a centre for that, I'd make the most amazing wings. Maybe we need to try and do that. Anyway, distracted. <laughs> Much. Maybe if I put it that way, there's a hair on it. And then go for this one's from Delicate Petals. Right, this is quite a harsh. very yeah <laughs> green 
soften it up a bit. We'll make it look like it's more natural. Put it on that way. Just going to have a little play for a minute. So these ones are a little bit cute. So I want the contrast against there. And then maybe this one there. Nope, and he's still not fitting in really. And then we could have like a little flurry of little flowers going down this way. Or should I just move that down a bit? We also have over here the rose gold. What other ones have we got? Let's have a look see. <laughs> Sorry. I really like the green bit, but I'm not sure it really goes with it. I oh, can't have them symmetrical. I can have the shape symmetrical, but not the flowers. That's better. And then maybe the f leaves there. I've got more sprigs somewhere. There's a little gold bit. Some more coloured sprigs. Right, where are you, coloured bits? And have that one up there. And then I'm going to put, see if I can get this to, nope. <laughs> that was not the look I was looking for if I'm honest. So I think what we could do is just, it doesn't matter, just to balance out so it looks like it's... Or do we go really dramatic and have... Have I not got any little there? The centres. It's too big. <sighs> I 
Okay, I'm sure I've got one here somewhere that will go with that. Just going to close this. Just going to put I've got a couple of bits of twine sticking from there. And then there is a dark. Oh, I've got a. Is that a whole one? No, nope, it's not. Must have been cut on an edge. Well, there's another little green leaf there. Need a dark, a little flower. Oh, there's a dark one. No, nope, it's the same sort of dark. What about a pink stripy one? Wrong way. Okay, let's glue it down. Or do we go just go bling? Bling or red, guys. This is driving me insane now for some reason. I don't know why it's not. It is not flowing for me now. Um, there we go. I think the green is enough for foliage, if I'm honest. So maybe some little teeny weeny flowers now. So let's just take that off the top. And glue this down. I am going to try and make a butterfly with this. I've decided. Not right now. <laughs> I've just got to think of what I could use as a as a middle. Because that is a, that is just such a pretty. It makes such a pretty wings. Okay, now the vellum just softens it up a bit. Bit of glue. Um, and you can see the glue at the minute, but it will it'll dry and you won't be able to see it anymore. So I'll stick those two on. Just to one side. I don't like it dead in the middle. So I'm going to put my thinking head on now. I don't know why my brain is not... Um... <laughs> it's not computing what I'm doing today. Right, just stick. Stick. There we go. It's stuck. So I don't want to put that again. So maybe we'll put that one there. And then put that one down 
sana. Right, okay. Serious head on. Whew. Right, I want some little... And to balance out the rose gold, it would be nice to put a couple of rose gold little flowers on. And... Oh, there's another one. I like to do it in threes. <laughs> I will get some of these lacy bits out and I will I will use them on the next one if it's at all possible. There's a little tiny gold one there. There is tiny weeny ones in here and I just can't get my fingers on them. Use that as well. I've even got buttons in here. Okay, right. Stay down there you. So I could put the gold centre in there. I've been um, decoupaging a little bit um, and I've now got the bug. So my unit has started having um pansy papers put on that as well so uh, when i finished it i'll show you but i need to sand it and everything yet because once you've stuck it all on you sand it down to give it an even coat -o. okay right we need a center for that one Do you know, I got a dimensional backing then. I didn't even <laughs> didn't even get a little flower. I got a dimensional back. Right, so that definitely needs a gem or something in the middle. So let me just grab... Oh, here comes the ribbon, in-colour ribbons to join the party. What have we got? What have we got? I do have some non-stamping up ones as well. Um, these are the new in-colour jewels and they're faceted. They are absolutely stunning. So I think I'm going to use one of these. Where's my pick tool? I'm going to put a nice pink in the middle because you can still see it because it glimmers and then in the little tiny in the tiny ones you can have them and then these two one can have a polished pink and the other can have a pale papaya Oh, they are stunning, aren't they? Oh, runaway flower. There we go. Needs some wispy bits or something, doesn't it? Right, where is it? There it is. Now, let's just make a little twirly whirl. Oh, I do miss my dots. Okay. Now, if I put, if I lift that right up, put the glue under there. You always think I'm coming to the end of a glue and then loads come out. So 
so that's on this side so this side needs a little bit of something so maybe a wink of stellard sprig so i'm just going to brush this on here it's like liquid glitter it gives it a nice shimmer all about the bling it's all about the bling little bit of glue and there's that one stay down okay so we'll glue that one down to its cord oh look at them pansies Okay, so that is number three. Only two more to go, guys. <laughs> okay. And there we go. I love this coat. This rose gold. I think it's uh, not in stock now. I'm sorry. But I need to use them up. Okay, the next one is this one. This is one of my favourites. And actually, the other one is just this, this similar print, just a little bit bigger. So we can definitely get away with lace on this one. So I'm going to put them... No, we've got to put letters on this one, Wendy. Goodness me. Okay, so... I think the letters are going to stand out well enough. We'll just take the middle out of the A and then where's the I? Uh oh, Houston, we have a problem. Where's that gone? Oh, let me just check that I'd got it out of the Yes, I have. Well, that's not good, is it? That is not good. Let's have a little rummage, rummage, rummage. Check it's not stuck to something else. them all on here before so no I am not finding it maybe we'll just have to have two two that have got words for now and then I can add the words to the other one so this one will be blessed And oh, trying to put the S's upside down. Now, this one fills most of this. Now, this one I'd like to go around the edge with a bit of maybe soft succulent. So, what colors on this one? Nothing. So, we're going to grab soft succulent. And inky up. I know, Mum, I've done it now. <laughs> okay, so just go around the edge. I just think it makes it look so much softer. a lump in there then I can't find it Ooh. oh goodness so new catalogue launches on Tuesday those of you who've had your catalogues do you have a favourite are you going to get the new in colours if anybody would like a catalogue and hasn't got a demonstrator already 
I'm more than happy to send one out for you. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> I'm only just going to be able to fit this word in. Oh, but I love this word. Before you go to bed at night, always think about what you're grateful for and what you're blessed for because it helps you go to sleep on a positive mind and it's just good. With my kids, what we do now when we come out of school because they've been struggling to settle back in, so now we have a uh, a one bad thing that's happened today and two good things so they have to tell me one bad and two good and you know the last few days coming up to friday they haven't had any bad neither of them so i was so excited <laughs> um so yeah so it's looking like they're settling in much better now But it's been hard for them because all their friend circles have changed as well since being in lockdown. Did I just drop the L and it's gone? See you later. Hang on a minute, guys. I'm going to have to move <laughs> to find it. Where did it go? Not doing very well tonight. <laughs> oh dear. I'm, it's definitely come down here. I'm sure it is. Is it on my chair? Hi Vicky, you've joined when I've lost I've lost the letter L. And I know I've got it, I cut it, and I've just dropped it as I went to pick. Oh, I found it guys. I've got it, yay! Sorry, it's late here. Well, it's not late, but it's dark here and I'm using a lamp. I should have really turned the big light on, which I might do in a second, because then if I drop anything else, I'll be able to find it much easier. <laughs> if I can actually see what I'm doing. Right, so I'll quickly glue these down, then we'll add a couple of embellishments to this one. And then we've just got one more to do. Oh, stay. Okay. And then the ass. Yeah, I need to I need to get my hand sanitizer. Oh, thank you, Ruth. It's just not for me. <laughs> for my desk is fine, but as soon as I dropped the L on the floor then I could not see a thing. Because <laughs> it's dark. Okay, so we'll pop that on there, like so, and it will stay. Another E. And I'm just going to share some of that glue with the D because that was just a silly amount of glue to put on, Wendy. Last one. These are so worth it. And for some foil paper as well. Get some foil. And I mean, honestly, it is so... There we go. So what we might do is... Where's the little piece? little bit of lace here stay so I'm just going to grab a drink and then 
maybe a leaf and then a flower or maybe we'll have the lace going all the way across no don't like that <laughs> I prefer it one end like that and then maybe No, can't pattern on pattern. No, 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 no. Okay, I do have more lace, but I don't really want to put more lace on it, do I? Got some vellum. Okay, note to self. Make sure that you have anti-back hand wash by the side of you to um clean fingers because it's actually really quite hard for me at the minute everything's sticking to my fingers right what color are these well these are bling blings there's that one Um, anyone doing anything nice this weekend? Seeing as this in the UK it is bank holiday weekend. So, and we're allowed six people from six different houses in the garden now. Woo! <laughs> it's quite exciting if you ask me. <laughs> Um, hubby had his um, first jab yesterday and he wasn't actually rough from the jab. He was rough because when he gets the shakes from shivering, he shakes quite a lot and he has a very bad back and it made his back like, yeah. <laughs> so he was not in a good not in a good uh, state last night. Where's me? I'm only using those scissors because I was using them with glue. Oh, oh well. We'll carry on using them because I don't know where the other ones are gone. Right, so add a little bit there. So then we can add... One there and no not that one because that one's the dodgy one because <laughs> it's got the ends of its petals are missing you might not be able to see that on camera okay what else can we put on this one I think a butterfly would look cute so in this one we have just trying to find a better flower. I prefer that one, I think. Too much with the gold. <laughs> oh, and then pick up another one thinking it's a different colour and it's just. Do that and then have. Oh, I think my baby tornado is about to ring. No, she's gone to the toilet. We're too big, Wendy. Little tiny weenie flowers here. So what I want something a bit smaller. Like that, and then we'll add some baby. So 
some um, tiny little flowers into there. Just want that a little bit smaller because it doesn't need to be massive. Okay, so let's put a blob there for the lace and the leaf. And it doesn't matter if it overhangs the edge slightly because um, I'm going to be mounting it on something that will give it a border. Put that there. Flower on top. Ooh. And then... It's resorting to me using my knuckles now. Everything else is sticking. Okay, little butterfly. It's going to go there. Obviously, it's going to get Winker Stellard. Because, I mean, why not? I put the lid straight back on, Mum. <laughs> okay, so what do we think it might need now? Maybe just a... Nothing. Oh, hang on, it needs a centre for that flower on the other side of this one. Paley one. There we go. Right, so we just want one gem. Or maybe some on the butterfly. So I'm going to use a pale papaya for in that one. And then for the butterfly, I'm going to use some fresh freesia if I can get it to pick up. I think I need to put more sticky on my pick tool. So one big one and three little ones down my butterfly to give it some I'm putting look at that I'm putting the lid off my pick tool on my glue goodness me okay so do we think that's enough I think that's enough on that one so let's get our mounting piece hi Monica sorry I'm not looking at the chat <laughs> Okay. Right. Pop that on there. Um, like I said before, this is the pansy paper that will be in the new catalogue that launches on Tuesday. Um, I will be doing a paper share. So if you're interested in doing the paper share, there are 10 different... Um, packs of paper two of which are speciality papers and so it works out uh, as £28.50 um, per person and then as soon as my order arrives I will send you out your lovely pack of paper so you don't you get a sample of every paper that's in the book except the host one um but i will probably be getting that one at a later date if anybody wanted a sample of that one okay so that's that one as well so last but not least -da! now this one i'm going to do something different because it's the way i roll <laughs> and i'm thinking i'm gonna put some flowers on like so Ooh. <sighs> where's the other ones see I cut the stalks off well I, I cut them without the actual stems so this might not go according to plan. Then again, 
usually works out all right. Right, there's one I've trimmed some pieces off, but I've got plenty of stem left. Hmm. Got a dragonfly there. And I've got plenty of little flowers, so we'll have a look and see what this what this goes like first. And I'm going to add a butterfly to this page. So if I put that there. Put that as a background bit. So it's got, oh, get off my fingers. And then layer that on there. And then these crazy pieces. Like so. And then dragonfly uh, can you tell I've gone quiet because I'm a little <laughs> my little concentrating brain is in gear don't like that and then I think I'll put a little bow at the bottom right I've got some There's the reversible ribbon, which is pretty peacock and old olive. Now, let me see if I can get bow to work. Oh, look at no, no, too far, wrong one. <laughs> there we go. bit big every time I pull it smaller it loosens off oh don't you just love it when you try to do bows on a live I'm gonna pull them really tiny and then when I pull it ah that's better <laughs> now I need my good scissors where have I put them has anybody seen my favorite scissors no? Okay. Oh, I can see them. The jingly janglies were sticking out, so I knew where they were. Woohoo! There we go. I'm going to pop that there. So it's like a little bunch of wacky flowers. Like so. I like that. Okay, we're going to go with that. So, I oh know it's crazy. I'll swipe it all out of my way. Okay, so we're going to get crushed curry this time. Just to go around the edges of this one. And this will do. Oh, that's a, this is very yellow. It's very yellow. It's okay because it looks rustic. There we go. Bit of that. Okay. Move that out of the way. Bring back in our fleurs.
and I've I've molded them a little bit so I've like shaped the leaves so they're not flat so then they don't don't want you <laughs> okay so then that one was there whoa do you know what We've got any darker ones. No, that's not the right one. This is the right one. We'll put that in there. Put that up there. So I'm going to take out those bits there, so I know they go at the top. So we're going to get these, but I'm only going to glue the stem part. I'm not going to glue the flower because I like the shape of them lifting off. Hi, Vanessa. How are you doing? That on there like so and then the same with the other one just a little bit of glue on the stem had it under there didn't I like that and then put that on there And that one there. And that one there. You get the gist. <laughs> I just like it to be like a big bunch of wild flowers. bit up here more leaves I think I need some more like some, some just a little bit more texture I don't And I mean, waste not, want not with the ribbon. Nope, don't like that anyway. <laughs> so just take it back out. <laughs> uh, Doesn't need any more flowers, I don't think. It needs a bit of something. Right, so I have a bit of a gap here, so I need to fill that. So I will pop a few little bits of 
going to turn that the other way. Because I can put that in there like that. Oh, glue dots. Why did I run out of glue dots? I'll pop a little bit of tear and tape there now. It'll be fine. It's all good. It's, there's always a way around it. Oh, well, actually, a uh, little dimensional will sort that out. So, put that there. So, we just got to put a little bit of something, a little bit of something in the gap. <clears throat> What have we got? What have we got? Nope. That does not work. Maybe just another flower? What do we think? Maybe there's another flower there. Not a leaf anyway. Oh my goodness, guys. get that out of there yeah we don't have press and seal here but um i need to make some um sticky paper that ruth showed us the other day that's what i need to do So, I'm going to finish this off with a few gem gems. So, I'm going to put some pale papaya up there and down here. And then an evening evergreen. Uh, and uh, what did I want to put? <laughs> a polished pink there. So there we go. So I think we need centres on the flowers, don't we? I will get my other ones. And we'll put... You're not sticking there. There we go. Right, let's stick that on and then we'll just clean up a bit and then we can have a look at them all made up. I've got to make the first, stick the first one down. Again, sweep all these into a little pile and then sweep them into my little handy basket. Yeah, I can't can't believe I can't find that letter I, but it's okay because I can sort something out later. Um where did he go? There we go. Oh, he's so cute. There we go. Let's grab his base. Put 
blending brushes in. Yeah, I think we can get press and seal on um, Amazon, but it's um, really expensive. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to make some, some of what Ruth made. <laughs> Ruth's top tip over at Artful Stamping if you want to see how to make your own if you live anywhere outside the um, America and that you might not be able to get press and seal basically it's like transfer paper for when you're making arrangements of um, shapes and things and you lay them all out and then you want to move them but you you have to completely make send them into disarray <laughs> to move them okay so that was that one I'll tell you what we'll move this move that out of the way and do a bit more tidying up by sweeping side to side so there's that one I'm trying to see now if you can see <laughs> The video is slightly behind. Okay, so we need to glue this one down as well. Oh, this is the one that didn't get any gems, isn't it? We better not be selfish. We better give it some gems. Just to make it look uh, even. Oh, that's good, Vanessa. Yeah, we're, we're not really lucky enough here. <laughs> Maybe one day B&M will get it in because they tend to have, like, um, American-style chocolates and things as well. So... You never know. One day. Right, what colour am I going to put in that one? Let's put a polished pink in the centre of there. And then... Oh, hang on. I just need to sort me. See, with these, all you have to do to refill it is just twist the end and more sticky comes out. So I take the excess off. Uh, there was thing. And then you go back in and it works. Woohoo! <laughs> so I'm just going to pop on some gems. And then I think I might just put one. No, it look odd. <laughs> in there there we go right so now they're sorted okay so blessed and then the last one i don't know what's the best way to display them <laughs> so that you can see them properly there we go there we are guys so these I've bought from, um, you can get them off Amazon, but I think I've made, this is my third lot of bunting and, I, and I'm sure I've got enough for, to make another set and have a few spares on top of that. Um, and they're very, you know, they're, they're not very much to buy. Um, I got these from um, Hobbycraft. Um I think the works do them as well. So there's lots of places you can get them from. So, um, yeah. So there we are. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will hopefully see you soon. That one hasn't got gems. That's now bugging me. <laughs> Anybody have any questions while I just quickly put the put some gems on that one?
and this is going to be hung up in my house um this comes with all the cord as well it's like um the brown twine the natural twine brown twine natural twine uh, i'm gonna have to buy some more of these aren't i <laughs> a little bit happy at uh sticking them on there we go that's better And then maybe just a random one there and maybe one there that'll do there we go put the lid back on that and there we go thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you soon and i may even do another cheeky live this week sometime but i will let you know in advance when it's going to be um you can also as well as my facebook page we do have wendy's creative corner where you can share your your um crafty things um whatever it is you make and um, we love to see lots of people's craft and things it gives us all ideas and also to admire other people's work because if you put knitting or crochet on I will be in awe because I can't do that. <laughs> I like to do lots of different things, but knitting and crochet, I just haven't got the patience for. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Lots of love. Goodbye.